So with this video, I am going to very quickly go identify the tissues that I provided to you um, as a way of studying the uh, content of the classification of tissues lab. And what's really important when you're studying the tissues is how you go about identifying the tissues. So I'm, I, I wanted to actually sort of run through that process versus just simply giving you the answers. So I'm going to identify the various tissues. I may in some cases uh, identify structures and cells. Uh, in other cases, I may leave that for you to do, because once you've identified the tissue, you certainly should be able to identify structures and cells. Okay, so that being the case, let's go to the first uh, slide. So this is slide one, and I was specifically pointing to A here. So we're not looking at this any of these tissues other than here where A, the arrow for A is pointing. Uh, now, general tissue type. Well, we obviously this is not nervous tissue. Uh, we don't have a free space, right? Um, we have tissue, excuse me, cells dispersed in a matrix. So this is connective tissue. We don't have any striation, so we know it's not muscle tissue. So we've got connective tissue. And you see little spaces called lacuna with the little cell in the middle or as I, I like to call it, the matata in the middle of the lacuna. All right, so this is cartilage. Cartilage looks like little eyes looking back at you. And the cell is a chondrocyte. Okay, here we are looking at uh, a tissue, again, where there is no free space. There are no striations. So it's not epithelial tissue, it's not muscle tissue, it's obviously not nervous tissue. If you can see the little nuclei dispersed in the extracellular matrix in both uh, slide 2N as well as slide 2M. So again, we're looking at connective tissue. This connective tissue has a lot of little wavy fibers in it. This is dense connective tissue, uh, and those fibers are laid down by a cell called a fibroblast. So slide two, general tissue, connective tissue, specific tissue, dense connective tissue. Okay, so you look at this tissue type, Well, these, and the first thing that should jump out at you is the striations, that up and down banding pattern. So you know immediately it's muscle tissue. Therefore, the specific tissue is either skeletal muscle or it's cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle has very nice long cells and that is what we're seeing here both in slide M as well as slide M so this is skeletal muscle tissue. Slide 4 um, is there a free space? No, so it's not epithelial tissue. Are there, are there striations? No, so it's not muscular tissue. And we don't have the star-shaped cells, so again, it's not nervous tissue. So this must be connective tissue, and it is, and nothing looks like this tissue other than areolar tissue. So this is areolar tissue. Okay, slide number five. So you should notice the banding, the bands. They're, not, they're a little more difficult to see compared to the a uh, couple of slides back, but there are bands here, striations. So this is muscle tissue. And C is asking you to identify that little structure there, those little line-looking structures, which are called intercalated discs. And there's only one tissue that has intercalated discs, and that is cardiac muscle tissue. And that's what we're looking at. Slide six. This, these, uh, this tissue is taken from the lungs. We've got lots of free spaces. If you look hard, you'll see there are lots of little nuclei. So if we've got free spaces and lots of nuclei beside one another, we know it's epithelial tissue. And if you look, the, what you're looking at here are flat cells surrounding these free spaces and they're single layers of flat cells. This is simple squamous epithelial 
tissue, simple squamous epithelial tissue. Specifically, what you're looking at is air sacs, and the walls of the air sacs are composed of the simple squamous epithelial tissue. Slide number seven is often confused with slide number six. Slide number seven, each of these spaces, or what looks like spaces, is actually a cell. These cells are filled to the brim with fat. And what cell is filled with fat? None other than adipose or adipocytes is the cell. Adipose tissue is a specific type of tissue. And adipose tissue, of course, is connective tissue. So the general cell, general tissue type is adipose specific, excuse me, the general tissue type is connective. Specific tissue type is adipose. Number eight, we have a free space. We have cells forming sheets. You can see bunches and bunches of nuclei, so we know this is epithelial. Now we need to identify uh, whether it's stratified or simple, and obviously there are multiple layers, so it's stratified. And so now we have to identify shape, and obviously at the apical surface, the cells are flat. So this is stratified squamous epithelial. No free spaces, it's not nervous, no striations, it's not muscular, so it must be connective, and indeed it is. We have lots of these little small cells and a few big cells with these lobed nuclei, so obviously this is blood. So the general tissue type is connective, specific blood. Number 10, we have a free space, and we have bunches and bunches of nuclei beside one another, so we know this is epithelial. So now we need to identify the um, shape. Well, the nuclei look elongated, so these are columnar cells. And, of course, you know you only have two choices, either simple columnar or pseudostratified columnar. And I told you in lab that if you find cilia, you know it's pseudostratified. So this is pseudostratified columnar epithelial. Number 11. We've got open spaces, and we've got lots of nuclei beside one another, so we know this is epithelial. These nuclei are perfectly round, and cuboidal cells have perfectly round nuclei. So both, both M and N are cuboidal, but M is simple cuboidal because there's one layer of simple cuboidal cells for M. And in N, we have multiple layers. So N is stratified cuboidal. So M is simple cuboidal, N is stratified cuboidal. Slide 12, easiest to identify tissue in the world. We have these star-shaped cells, has to be nervous tissue. Number 13, notice we have bunches and bunches of free space, that uh, and then we have bunches of nuclei beside one another. Telltale sign of epithelial tissue. Notice that the nuclei are elongated, so we've got columnar. We ha don't have any cil cilia, so this must be simple columnar epithelial cells or tissue. Number 14, we have the tissue that looks like a clear-cut forest, no free spaces, no striation, so we know it's connective tissue. Specifically, this is bone tissue. Okay, and I do believe this is the last slide, and here you were just asked to identify the cells. And these, of course, are goblet cells. Goblet cells look like they um, are empty. But what you're looking at here are the large vesicles that goblet cells contain, which contain mucus. Goblet cells secrete mucus. So that's what you're looking at here. Okay, and those are the answers to um, these. Uh, the, the, that's the identification of these tissues. 
Again, what's more important is how you go about identifying these tissues than having the quote unquote answers. Hopefully this is helpful. Any that you got wrong, go back and figure out how to correctly identify them.